we all have to eat and food is um, and how we grow it and where we grow it is something that impacts the earth in a very big way it's a huge human enterprise and if we do it in a sustainable manner that's a lot more gentle on our earth and the earth's resources I think that we are in fact impacting our environment in a, in a positive way. Sustainable doesn't necessarily mean you have to be organic. It just means you look at what you're doing on your farm with a bigger picture. It's just not this crop or this year. You're looking at your farm as it interconnects with the rest of the community. Oftentimes people think of stewardship as the problem of the farmer. That is the farm, it's the farmer's duty to take care of the, the, uh, the land and the water and the air. What we forget is that the farmer is responding to market signals. It's not just farmers, it's also consumers and it's also government officials. All three of those parties, those sectors, have a vital um, interest and stake and responsibility in ensuring that stewardship occurs in the countryside. Farmers need partners and consumers are the most important ones. At Limonera, uh, we have a very uh, beneficial arrangement with Agriman in which we recycle roughly 95% of the county's green waste and then apply it agronomically onto our orchards, which helps us lower our water cost and reduce the amount of water that we have to apply to our orchards. It also allows us to reduce the amount of herbicides and pesticides we apply. And all of this falls into a general uh, category which we consider to be good solid land stewardship. So we are the stewards of the land. Every individual can help maintain agriculture in Ventura County. One of the principal ways to do it would be conservation of the water resource. This stewardship of agriculture, it really does include my community. Being more aware of every time they use a water softener, every time they change the oil on their driveway and let it run down, every time they use a chemical on their lawn, all of that goes into the water runoffs and becomes part of our pollution problem. I think communities that begin to think about the soil in the region as an asset, a resource that is part of their legacy, part of their survival mechanism, um, part of the uh, resource base for ensuring that they're sustainable is a really important trend. Well, we can't just let cities expand indefinitely out into the ag land and open space or we will lose our agriculture. Every measure that comes before a politician needs to be thought about how does this affect agriculture, how does this affect land use. The role of the policymaker today is to have some vision and creativity. We need to, to loosen up the requirements on farmers who want to do certain things with their land in order to make it successful as a farming operation. It's horrendous what some of them go through. Consumers and policymakers need to be aware that local food security is disaster preparedness. With the advent of rising fuel costs and the uncertainty in the global marketplace for oil, it's important that we have local healthy sources of food to sustain our communities in times of uncertainty.